TV director Chuck Vinson of Los Angeles and his wife brought their 10-year-old daughter. You want to run for president someday, maybe? Well, I'm not sure because it's kind of a lot of work. Hi, my name is Spencer Vinson, and you are about to see my video diary of Washington, D.C.'s inauguration. Hi, this is Spencer Vinson, and we're reporting for Sierra Canyon. And this is the Lincoln Memorial behind me, and there's a free concert about to start. And it's about 15 degrees out, and it's really cold outside. You are now looking at the Washington Monument. It was established in 1848 and stands 555 feet. As you can see, there's of course the police behind me. I know there's not that many people now, but on the inauguration day, it's going to be wall to wall crazy. In two days, this whole entire area, most likely almost the whole entire state, will be turned into over 3 million people. Behind me, they're going to shoot a live MSNBC show. As you can see, the sun just came out and the pond is completely frozen. Although, everyone is having a good time. It is estimated that over 500,000 people arrived early for the inauguration. Garth Brooks was performing in the background, so I decided to get a little dancing in the this is Spencer Vincent reporting line for Sierra Canyon School, and this is the closest I can get to the state capitol. The capitol is where the congressmen have their meetings and talk about what they're going to do. The state capitol is also where Barack Obama will be sworn in as our 44th president of the United States. Monday the 19th. It's Martin Luther King Day. Now you all know that his birthday is Thursday, but everybody was celebrating on Monday. On day three, my mom and I took the metro to the RFK Stadium. Martin Luther King Day of service, we made gifts for the army, which is called care packages, which is basically supplies to the army because they don't have supplies that they need. Later that afternoon, my grandparents joined us at the mall. They took a train from Los Angeles to Washington, D.C. Later that night, I got to go to the kids' inaugural ball and meet Queen Latifah. Performing was the Jonas Brothers, Corbin Blue, and Miley Cyrus, just to name a few. I had a ball. On the inauguration day, it was really cold outside that my parents stayed outside while my grandparents and I stayed in the Raven building to watch the inauguration. <laughs> It was excited to see Barack Obama arrive at the Capitol and millions of people waiting to hear his speech. After being sworn in, Barack Obama gave a great speech. As a 44th president, he stood next to Vice President Biden and their wives as they watched President Bush fly away in a helicopter. As the president and the first lady were walking in the parade, the crowd was full of energy. And first lady, Michelle Obama. This is where the parade ended, right here. And the parade was really, really long. It lasted till nighttime and it started at four. And this is where Obama went in to his new house after the parade. He went here so he could get dressed and go to all the balls because he had to go to 10 balls last night and now he's at church. He had to go to 10 balls to thank everybody. And this is the entrance to the White House. And this is where the kids live. This is 
Vincent from 5C signing off. Have a great day.